Um, so today I'm going to tell you about uh, dispersion in, uh, engineering uh, of whispery gallery mode uh, resonators. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'll start with uh, what are whispering gallery mode resonators. So uh, whispering gallery mode resonators are uh, small structures, usually uh, in, in few micrometers. Uh, these are the uh, round structures here that are coupled with uh, tapered fiber. And uh, we uh, guide light uh, through the tapered fiber and some of the light uh, can uh, squeeze in the resonator and start uh, circling around the parameter of the resonator due to total internal reflection. And uh, this is the resonance formula that uh, basically uh, states that uh, when the light is uh, light that has uh, circled uh, one round uh, is in phase with the incoming light, then there is constructive uh, uh, interference, and uh, and we can uh, obtain uh, resonance. So. Uh, a nice way to explain this, uh, this, this formula is uh, drawn here. So this is the parameter of the resonator. And uh, when an um, integer number of uh, waves fit inside the parameter, then we have uh, this, uh, this resonance. And of course, we, uh, we need to divide the uh, wavelength by the ref refractive index because it's inside the medium. And uh, this is only a schematic because uh, the wavelengths uh, are uh, much smaller than the uh, radius. So, uh, so the m, uh, the azimuthal mode number, that's the integer that uh, describes how many waves are inside, we will be much uh, larger than three if it will be several hundred or thousands. And uh, I, we can make console simulations of, uh, of these uh, resonators. Uh, here we can see the cross section of, uh, of, uh, uh, of a resonator. And uh, yeah, so this is a, a cylindrical uh, re resonator with an extension with certain height and depth. So it's called belt type uh, resonator because uh, it is the cross section of a belt. And yeah, we can see here that, uh, that uh, when we change uh, different, uh, different frequencies or, or wavelengths, the mode uh, inside the resonator differs in size and uh, also differs the uh, uh, radius of the mode. And we can see also that the uh, mode the radius and the radius of the resonator is different. So uh, the path that lights, uh, light takes is, uh, is of course uh, in this formula in uh, uh, radius of the mode. And uh, here we can see the um, re relationship of uh, refractive index to wavelength. It's uh, uh, it is uh, a property of material that, that we use. This is the uh, fused, uh, fused silica uh, relationship. And the way we uh, make these calculations is uh, we uh, give uh, COMSOL uh, this azimuthal mode number and ask it to find uh, uh, the wavelength and uh, uh, draw us this picture this, and uh, so find the radius as well. And uh, the problem is that uh, we have to give uh, an re ref refractive index. Uh, so we, uh, we don't know it at, uh, at the beginning because we don't know the, uh, the wavelength. So we have to uh, do it iteratively, uh, so make fuse few simulations and start with a guess and good guess would, would be 1.5 or something like that. So yes, uh, when we have uh, made our, uh, our simulations and uh, found the uh, 
wavelengths uh, of the resonant mass, we, we can uh, we can take the relationship uh, from uh, from wavelengths to uh, azimuthal mode number and uh, calculate the dispersion. Uh, the first uh, order, uh, no, the first uh, derivative will be free spectral range. It is the um, uh, it is the distance from uh, from uh, from two modes, and the second derivative is the dispersion, and uh, dispersion is uh, you know, really crucial for uh, for generation of uh, of um, frequency comps. Uh, so uh, here we can see that our dispersion crosses the zero dispersion here, and. Uh, uh, Every time the uh, dispersion curves uh, curve uh, crosses zero dispersion, that's uh, there will be a small comb. And uh, if uh, if the uh, dispersion line would would be like this, and we would pump it here, then we would get a soliton regime. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the next thing is a four wave mixing. Uh, this is the generation of a comb. Uh, so we have, uh, this is uh, the signal without any resonator. Uh, we have just one, uh, one peak in the spectrum where, where we have our laser. And uh, we send such signal in, inside and there inside the uh, resonator happens uh, for four wave mixing that uh, to pump photons, these these will be with uh, with uh, with this frequency are absorbed, and they are converted into two two different photons. And uh, yes, uh, the energy uh, conversion law is uh, conserved. And then uh, there happens non-degenerative four-way mixing, and uh, these two combined can. Uh, um, can excite uh, hundreds of modes. So uh, yeah, we, we can see here uh, what, what is after the four wave, four wave mixing that uh, each of these uh, integer uh, number of uh, modes are excited. So yeah. Um, and the dispersion engineering is uh, simply put, uh, we, we engineered the, uh, um, the geometry of the uh, resonator in order to uh, change the dispersion profile. So uh, yeah, here here we see we have the belt type resonator with uh, this width is uh, one one micron and this height is uh, three and here is nineteen microns. So we can see that uh, the uh, uh, the uh, dispersion curve is quite different. And so we can uh, change uh, these uh, parameters uh, by parametric sweep. Uh, we just uh, sweep through the parameters and then we can uh, get a lot of uh, this dispersion curves and uh, find the one where, uh, where the dispersion is the best for uh, comb generation. Here we can see that uh, this is quite quite promising. This would be uh, one uh, one micron uh, deep and uh, thirteen microns uh, high. Uh, this uh, belt and uh, yes, uh, then uh, why do we need to do dispersion engineering? The idea is to uh, after. Uh, Calculating these dispersions that uh, that we like, we can uh, tell our colleagues uh, to make such uh, such resonators with uh, uh, lithography. We we know that lithography has high precision, and yes, that's that's the that's the idea. Uh, okay, I think my time is up. If you have wait, sorry, <laughs> if you have any questions, uh, I can answer them. Uh, thank you, Christian. Please, some questions. So I, I don't see raised hands. 
Uh, I have a question about uh, the first slide where you have uh, many modes. Uh, uh, like yeah. this one. Uh, so um, if you add the, them together, uh, you would see pulse uh, uh, starting to appear, pulse uh, shapes. And uh, here, uh, the red uh, color uh, waves, uh, it is standing waves in a linear resonator. If we have a circular resonator, then uh, the wave should uh, repeat uh, on itself uh, after passing a circle, a full, a full circle. And... Uh, oh, yes, yes, I understand. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for new slide. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so. This was meant uh, only an, as a schematic, but okay, I, I can I can change it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>